hi guys welcome to another video so this time we have a visitor who will soon become a regular this is will wk mescudi that's his handle almost everywhere so you guys can already find him he has a channel on youtube as well he's a fellow kenyan youtuber links to his channel will be the first thing you guys see in the description below so will had a really good idea that we do videos on just random issues that affect the tech space in kenya the first thing we thought to talk about is internet the yes. internet yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um generally, generally we are talking about the state of internet in kenya um internet in kenya is in different sectors maybe wireless internet cellular internet and wired maybe with fiber or so so we are breaking it all down and trying to explain to you what is good and what's we think yeah also we'll try and look at some issues you guys may be facing because i'm thinking when you're going online you're going to search for router is not working zuku has issues my modem is has is going nuts you know we tell you alternatives and also things you can look at when you're going towards buying your next inter your next device um, with relation to internet and to accessing the web um let me start with the, the new one, the new kid in the block, uh, Telcom. I like Telcom, I like it because, uh, first of all, the, they've introduced the, the second company to introduce 4G. Mm -hmm. 4G now, two companies now own, Safaricom yeah. and uh, Telcom now own 4G. Personally, I think I have high hopes for Telcom mm -hmm. because Telcom, even from before, before it was orange, they had a low subscriber base. So if you were among the subscribers in it, you'll be able to have faster internet. You'll never have a complaint saying, oh, at the internet is slow, there are too many people on the network. Not really, because there's a low pool of people. At least they'll, they're able to serve everyone well. And I've sort of seen that as a joining thing, they're giving guys a lot of free internet. Yeah. So it might be worth it. Just grab a SIM card. They have agents everywhere on the street selling SIM cards. Yeah. Grab a SIM card, use it for a day, check out how the speeds are, yeah. and then let us know down in the comment section yeah. what you think of Telecom. Yeah, and then of course Safaricom has always been Safaricom, yeah. the, the big, the big kid on the block. Yeah, the yeah. big kid in the block. Uh, Safaricom ha right now they branched in so many. Currently they are doing broadband. Yeah. Which they have 4G. There's all they've always had their 3G, but their 4G isn't in all places. It's only in major towns, major Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa, but other places not yet. And I think they're still expanding. And still, I would say their network isn't perfect yeah. because there are areas that have big issues especially in crowded areas that you tend to have uh, dropped calls yeah. yeah but then again generally speaking Safaricom does have the best coverage yeah, yeah. it has the Safaricom. best coverage then that's so followed far. by airtel yeah followed by airtel yeah. uh airtel is a good network mm -hmm. i like airtel for the personally i use airtel yeah <laughs> yes uh -huh. um I, I also i have Safaricom sim cards mostly uh -huh. but airtel is a good market mm -hmm. It's it's just that over time they they've lost their subscribers. Uh -huh. I think mostly because of Mpesa, people are so yeah. Mpesa yeah. is like the king right now. All other mobile money transfers are struggling down there. So right now, I think Airtel is a good network, and it was the first network actually. So uh, if they upgraded as fast as they did long ago, they would be among the top. Then those other thing yeah. that. It's a real thing. Yeah. Before I had Zuku, yeah. I was using modems. Yeah. Stick oh modems. Oh my god. I have an <laughs> I have a Safaricom stick. Or, yeah. I have an orange orange stick. Yeah, true. And I have an airtel stick. Yeah, yeah. But mostly I used to use the orange and airtel sticks. Especially. Yeah, so what do you think about these sticks? Um especially cups. Cups. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Safaricom, I don't know. Are you too greedy <laughs> that you can't give back to Kenya? Oh, I don't know. Um, I find Safaricom. Yes, you have the infrastructure, you have uh, uh, everything, but you're too you're too greedy. You don't want to give back to the people. Like p personally, for you to watch this video, you'll have spent more than five hundred Kenya shillings just to watch this video. You just imagine for just internet. Come on, it, it's it's it, doesn't, it's, make it doesn't make sense. It should be cheaper. Orange was always a good player. But over time, I think they went a bit on losses, so they had to be backed up by the government and all that. So I think right now with Telcom, they really have a good chance to come back oh, yeah. and have a good upbringing. Yeah. And at least more, more, people still have hope and they can really come back to your network as long as you offer the proper service and the proper speed of internet. Yeah. I used to have 
the the most the stick that I used mostly was the orange stick. Yeah. Um, network, of course, I had to make sure I was in a certain place in my room to get the best network. Yeah. But then, Orange had sort of the best sort of bundle to offer because they had the, un, the they had the unlimited or unlimited unlimited monthly. So I just paid three thousand bob and I have unlimited internet. Yeah. But it's unlimited with a catch. There's a cap. Yeah. So Orange slash Telcom, their cap is at twenty gigabytes. So yeah. after twenty gigabytes, they reduce your speeds to maximum of I think it was a hundred kilobits yeah. per yeah. day. Yeah. So quick thing, KB is not kilobytes, kilobytes. it's kilobits. Yeah. MB megabits. So it's bits. All right. Um, Airtel, they for the unlimited, it's a bit more expensive. It was three thousand five hundred. Yeah. But then they give you 30 gigabytes mm. but now the catch is once the 30 gigabytes have been exhausted mm. what you're left with um you only surf at a maximum of 50 kilobits per second so mm. it's it's half than the speed at which you can surf with when you're using orange slash telecom yeah. i'm not sure that this is the case now yeah. but it probably should be something similar and of course safaricom they don't have do they have any form of unlimited unlimited safaricom you have to buy yeah. a bundle unlimited died with bob Colimo. once bob Colimo <laughs> came into kenya Unlimited died. So uh, we can't talk about unlimited. Bob, Maze, Bob. Bob, come on, Maze. We, we, need, we need internet. We, do, we don't want to be paying like a hundred Bob for internet. Ah, come on. We need serious. Like, for example, you cannot talk about streaming services with Safaricom. Those are two things, two worlds apart. You can't talk about streaming and uh, Safaricom because you can, Safaricom are out for bundles. They're all about bundles, 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 get this bundle. They don't talk about you can stream a movie. A movie will take like uh, approximately two to three gigabytes, yeah, and that's approximately yeah. if you're using um, a normal uh, broadband, that's a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. A thousand God. bob to just get it's three GB. Yeah. Oh my God, that's too expensive. Yeah. It's, it's too expensive. It's we need to make cheaper, cheaper internet. We need cheaper it's internet. Sad. sad. It's sad. Yeah. I'm mean, trying to pull a trump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think now we can talk about. Uh, the new kids in the block we call cable internet fiber yeah. i like i like that kenya we are a young growing company we don't we are not uh, uh, kenya we are a young growing company i uh, don't know <laughs> yeah, okay 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 uh, we are a young that's okay uh, we should all new. run our governments like companies the way trump is doing you know i think i had he said something like that. he's going to run the government like a company true and anyway, yeah i like that kenya is a growing country mm-hmm. in the sense that we don't we're not buying old technology right now all installations it's fiber we're not going at a, we're buying at old coaxial cables yeah, run yeah. internet we're running with fiber and the beauty about fiber we can we have faster we can do fi- faster speeds mm-hmm. right now and I like Zuku. Mm-hmm. Zuku have fiber. Safaricom have started uh, rolling out their yeah, uh, fiber. fiber. Mm-hmm. Uh, JTL. Yeah, JTL. Uh, Liquid Telcom. Mm-hmm. All, all those big, big players, they have fiber. Mm-hmm. That's all. I like that now Zuku has really opened up to more areas. Yeah. Like right now, up to areas beyond uh, Dika Road and all, all those areas now have Z- uh, Zuku internet. And right now, I, they're the king. Mm-hmm. Well, they have uh, 250 Mbps. Oh and 250 Mbps is real it's fast. No joke. And personally, if you're watching this and you and you have 250 Mbps in your home, kindly tell me what you you're using that 250 Mbps. Write in the comments. It's actually Please. it's actually a very serious thing. That's you serious. Find you have 250 Mbps and all you do is watch YouTube videos. That's you need to make good use of it if you have it. Yeah. But one thing I feel Zoku is really killing it. Yeah. Is that um, when I moved into this building. Um, Zuku is already wired into the building, yeah. so all I had to do when I subscribed, they just came, fixed in a cable here, patched it through to my house, done. done. Yeah. That that is itself, it's the very, it's like ease of business. It's yeah. so easy to get it, yeah. such that you wonder why get this other thing when this here is so easy to get, and upgrading, downgrading is also is re- relatively easy. Yeah. And I love Zuku's customer care, as in whenever I call, those guys take care of me in an instant. Yeah. Uh, most times when you hear people cl- complaining about Zuku, first of all, ask yourself, where do you live? Because most people who complain are live in very concentrated areas. You live in places like, uh, I think, uh, South B, South C, uh, Buruburu. All those places have too many people on the internet. So chances are when your internet is low, it's not that they don't offer services, it's just that you're too many. 
just you're too many man yeah though that's actually a, something that jami telcom is doing really well but zuku is doing badly yeah you see zuku is a shared pool yeah a shared pool means it's one cable it branches to this one's house it yeah. branches to your house it branches to your house it is it is it is but so if this guy is downloading a lot of stuff and he's using an PS4 or yeah. PS4 Pro yeah. which is very good at sucking all the internet <laughs> then yeah. your neighbor is trying to watch a movie it's it's it's, it's almost not going to watch you know yeah. Yeah. but then Jamie Telcom I found this way of it's your own 20 mbps it will yeah. always be at 20 yeah. like 10 at 10 yeah. not zuku sometimes in the morning when say you're trying you have 50 mbps but it's a ipt 10 you know yeah. yeah so that is something i think they could do better yeah but uh, currently i can complain where i live mm-hmm. the the infrastructure is quite new yeah. and the, i can i don't have any complaints that at the internet is slow or whatever uh, it's good it's good i'll say i have uh, the 50 mbps it's good and 50 is, is nice we are uh, personally i'm a gamer and gaming with uh, 50 mbps we are good we are good we uh, we represent kenya wherever we are online this guy battlefield will be his undoing <laughs> yeah, me right now i'm playing for the horizon 3 i know old game i'm playing it on the xbox one s yeah. also has an xbox oh, one yes, s yeah. so xbox pretty fans pretty cool. xbox yes. xbox if your ps stop watching yeah <laughs> you're not welcome <laughs> yeah. but we're kidding we're kidding, we're kidding. everyone is welcome oh, everyone is welcome oh, yeah. yeah so I feel I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> okay, um mm-hmm. we can also Safaricom personally Safaricom you need to have a way that right now where you're rolling out your fiber is awkward. Let's say how can you be rolling out fiber in Nairobi? Already so many people have fiber in Nairobi. Why can't you branch out come to like uh, Thika, go to go to further areas like a fine foundation in areas that are upcoming find like uh, yeah. tatu city will yeah. come up as in those are the areas you need the annual niche areas yeah. like try to go to such areas not trying to saturate a network that is already saturated as in and even even the service you're offering it's even more expensive than whatever somebody owns so what uh, what what is the convincing factor yeah that's true yeah. i've also i've also had though a red online it was yeah. on tech quiz i think guys were discussing yeah. falcon fiber yeah. i hear it's actually really good i yeah. hear it's really yeah, good. It's good. i think it works really well yeah. you know so if you use safaricom fiber yeah please comment comments. and f- funny thing is safaricom i'm i'm wondering what have you been doing because i knew areas that had uh, safaricom fiber laid down long time ago like three, four years ago but right now is when you're hearing like uh, it's been rolled out and currently uh, zuku beat you to the game because they just came in like a year like just a year and they've already rolled out and yeah. the place that was laid four years ago you are not hard anymore yeah so it's it's quite hard to understand your sales pitch and how you're going to work it out but uh, no complaints i haven't tested out your internet so i'm yet <laughs> to feel the fiber internet but your broadband aha uh-huh, that we cannot talk anymore yeah. it's too expensive it's too expensive it's too expensive um i also really like safaricom's big box so i'm thinking the idea of one box is giving me internet wifi yeah. and tv all in one yeah. that thing is a really really cool idea yeah. but again safaricom you're doing bundles no that cannot work yeah. So big box tick really good idea but the internet seg- segment of it um if there was a way to make it a monthly subscription so i just pay one figure a month and i have internet for the whole month regardless of the speed that would be really nice and then now since because most of these boxes are aimed at um you know someone who doesn't have that much money to spend on 50 100 or 50 mbps internet so you have cheap bundles for them the speed may not be as high but yeah. at least they have enough internet to know that when they come home they can surf they can yeah. do some research they can do their assignments they mm-hmm. can do some work you know yeah so yeah i think mm-hmm. in this current age we'll say us millennials there's the well, first thing i think the number one thing in my list is internet i don't care about tv at what's on local tv i don't care about i want internet yeah. and internet has become like the number one priority and i would say like for us young people i think the internet has been a mind opener for us 
as even most jobs that we are getting currently uh, through the internet okay. and almost everything that is coming up currently will be through the internet, internet. or has something oh, to, to do, do with the internet, internet. so yes. if, you, if safaricom you're making and all the other <coughs> companies if you think of making uh, internet expensive you're really making it hard for us to grow and we are your future generally ask the young people we are your future can you make it lower so that at least more more young people can enjoy can this yes yeah. yeah. so yeah that wasn't too long was it yeah yeah so thank you for watching yeah from my point of view i think this was a really good talk and the one thing i want to ask you guys is we were hoping to do more of this type of thing so what we want is your input what do you feel we should talk about next in relation to technology yeah. anything that has the word tech in it yeah. we can talk about yeah. so just ask questions down in the description yeah. we'll also hold q a sessions yeah. where we just take all of your questions yeah. and we answer them one by one, one yeah so we have like dedicated videos for q a so submit any questions and any things you'd like us to talk about down in the comment section or through our Instagram and Facebook, WKMS Kudi, Kenny the Techie, okay. yeah. and then from there, hopefully, we're gonna do this more often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, um, WKMS Kudi, I do tech videos, and currently, I'm, I'm still bringing up my channel. I've been, it's been a while since I did videos, so keep in mind, I'm, I'm really, really trying to come back. Yeah, he's good, he's good. Yeah, I would like to know from person of you. Try doing speed tests at your own time. Uh, tell me what's the fastest speed you've ever seen on 4G internet for Safaricom. And whoever has telecom, tell me how much speed you get for 4G uh, internet for okay. telecom. Yeah. We really, um, I don't think there's any, anywhere written the proper speed. So we just need to have a rough estimate on what we're really getting. Because yeah. 4G can be 4G, but 4G needs to be defined as what it is, how much you get. Will wants to crown a winner between Safaricom's 4G yeah. and yeah. Telcom's 4G. So yeah. yeah, you guys tell us which yeah. one was faster. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not yet a member of this awesome tech community. Yeah. If you liked the video, thumbs, thumbs up, up, share it. If you didn't like it, you can also hit that yeah. other button. We don't mind. And we will always catch you in the next one. Peace.